Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to WebPro. And I have some bad news. So there's an issue with the Galaxy S10 display. And it's not with the display itself. It's with the feature they introduce under the display, the in-display fingerprint reader. So Samsung has already unveiled the Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus, their flagships for 2018. And one of the distinguishing features is that they move their fingerprint scanner from the back to the front under the display. So they're calling theirs the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner and this isn't just a fancy name or anything it actually means something and it works differently from all the other under display fingerprint scanners you've seen so far all the others we've seen so far like the one in the oneplus 60 are called optical fingerprint scanners and what this means is that they use light to you know shine some light on your finger when you place it on the scanner and with that light it's able to take a snapshot or a picture of your fingerprint and then compares it to the one that it took when you were registering your fingerprint on the phone and if it's a match it unlocks your phone so when these optical scanners capture an image of your fingerprint they capture two dimensional images which are then compared to what it already had in the database and because it uses light it works in all situations including with all screen protectors whether they're plastic they're glass they're reflective screen protectors they work well with these optical fingerprint scanners but with the ultrasonic fingerprint scanners it's a little bit different so these scanners use sound waves, little sound waves that are sent from the sensor to your finger and then back to the sensor. And with that, they're able to, you know, map the fingerprint ridges on your finger and create a three dimensional image of your finger and compare it to what it had when you signed up. And that, that is really awesome technology. It's faster. It's obviously more secure, but there's a problem with some screen protectors. So some screen protectors don't work with the ultrasonic fingerprint reader on the S10 and the S10 Plus. And in the weeks leading up to the launch event of the S10 and the S10 Plus, there were already rumors going around that these new fingerprint scanners will not work with screen protectors. And then we even saw a leaked video of a Galaxy S10 Plus with a screen protector that had a hole in the fingerprint section. So there was obviously going to be a problem with these fingerprint scanners. And then now the S10 has been launched and people are testing these fingerprint readers. And there's one particular video by Marquez that I'll link down below that shows and proves that tempered glass screen protectors don't work with this new fingerprint scanner. The plastic ones work and they work well, but the glass screen protectors don't work with this new technology. We all know that tempered glass screen protectors are the best ones out there, especially when you want to protect your very expensive Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus screen. The one explanation that I've seen that looks kind of sensible is that glass screen protectors are generally much thicker than the plastic ones. And so if you have a thick glass on top of the display, when the sound waves are being created, they have to go through the glass to your finger and then back from your finger through the glass and to the sensor. And it's kind of impossible to do that without those little sound waves being distorted. And if those little sound waves are distorted, they're not able to correctly or properly map the three-dimensional image of your fingerprint to be used to unlock your phone and that's why the glass protectors generally don't work with the new ultrasonic in-display fingerprint reader i'm being told however that the silverstone dome glass protector which is glass specifically made for the s10 and the s10 plus that it works with these phones but then again that costs 50 bucks so that's your only option uh, the other only option unless you want to go with plastic is to use that hideous looking glass screen protector with a hole in the fingerprint section but the fact is most glass screen protectors will not work with this samsung galaxy s10 and the s10 plus fingerprint reader but if it means anything to you every samsung galaxy s10 and s10 plus comes pre-installed with a plastic screen protector which is also kind of weird because it means samsung knew this was going to be a problem and uh, up to now there's no official word on it classic samsung anyway that's been it thanks for watching your thoughts down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and share and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.